Hey friends, this is Tig in with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on Alias Romulus Trailer International, man. They've been just coming out with crazy trailers about this, man. And it's looking better and better every time I see it, right? I'm so excited to see this movie. I mean, I'm really excited. I mean, I was really excited to see Deadpool and Wolverine, which is a great movie. Definitely go see it if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm really excited to see this Alien movie, man. I mean... I love the iterations when they start to change certain things in the movie, certain things you didn't even think about. Um, I asked questions before whether these things are humanoids or just straight animals. Somebody commented on it. I can't remember exactly what they said. I know they call unimorphs or something like that, right? Some I don't know exactly the definition for that. I'm not exactly sure if that means if there's some kind of specific uh, species, something different from human, something different from animal, just something outside of the realms of reality. OK, so it's very interesting. But either way it goes, I'm really looking forward to this movie. And these are the kind of movies I love to go straight to the theater for IMAX. Definitely, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reaction. But before we do, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you know whenever we come out with new videos, okay? All right, let's get with it. I just love the lighting. I mentioned to all of you, I was, I'm a photographer and I did some video, um, videography. I love, love the lighting in this man. And these movies is just superb. He just, if you notice, they just using the lights that's around them. They're not using any extra light. I mean, they might be, I'm not exactly sure, but it's like the most of the lights that's in there is like on the dashboards and everything else. Right. They're trying to make it uh, look more realistic as possible. Because, you know, places like this don't need to be highly lit. I mean, maybe if you like working in a like uh, a hospital type situation, a med lab or something, you might not you might need all this light. But situation like this, all you need basically is, you know, the light panels for the control system is to be lit. So that way you'll be able to use it, but use less power as possible so that's more realistic than anything else i mean even more realistic probably than when you like see star trek or something like that right but i mean of course all this is fantasy but i'm just saying they're just trying to make it seem more realistic than uh as, as possibly as they can Welcome to the Romulus space station beautiful this place gives me the chinese The more the merrier. I'm glad they have so many people on this ship, man. So so many kills can happen. at kill count. <laughs> that looks so nasty because in the in the previous movies they never explored that. You know they know they know that these things shove something down their throat to lay their eggs or whatever the situation is, right? But they always had it like completely compressed in their faces. But they this this I guess they really wanted to get graphic to see these things, whatever that thing is, shoved down their throats. And it's and, and when you really think about it, it's almost sexual in a way, because this is how they uh procreate. So really, really nasty stuff, but good though. I love it. Run. Really want to get graphic with this movie, definitely. I'm loving it, man. Loving it. I sit for blood. Oh my god. That's what I love about that concept. And they did that in the first movie too. Then when they decided to make uh, these creatures have acid for blood, man. I don't know why they came up with that concept. You know, I think it's genius. And even though they didn't explore it that much, except when they like cut it, cut the um the thing that was on the on um William Hurt's face, and it bled um acid. But they really didn't explore it after that. But I think they was keeping in mind of the kind of creatures they probably if it if it became a hit, which it was, that it was going to use this as a uh. Uh, a defensive mechanism of these creatures, man. It's crazy stuff, man. Crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Are you 
sure you want to do this. Wow, man. Wow. This movie looks incredible, man. Looks incredible. We just reacted to Alien Romulus, the international trailer for this, man. This looks amazing, man. I'm loving this already. I love horror movies. I love sci-fi. But when they combine both, it's just amazing. I love that. Especially when they start to put money towards it. I had a complaint about um, Hellboy, uh, the cricket man. Because, you know, they tried to put it in a real life setting. But he just stood out to me. It just didn't look right in some ways. You know what I mean? But this, it looks more like... Because when you look at the creatures, this is before they become the bigger creatures or whatever. Uh, when they like get on your face. That looks familiar like a spider or some kind of animal you have seen in real life. So that what makes it even more you know disgusting and nasty especially when these things trying to go down your throat man i mean that's graphic as hell and you know i wonder um you know now that movies are kind of like you know they're not holding back when it comes down to a lot of these movies anymore they you know back in the day they look, looked at it as as a kind of a family movie i guess I'm not exactly sure i mean because when you look at the first movie you could you could take your family to it even though back then it was almost taboo to go to like a rated R type movie and bring your kids with you. But it wasn't that bad or that graphic, right? But these days, man, the sky's the limit now. They're just going to go for what they know with this stuff. And I, I find it great, man. I, I love the fact that they're going to up the ante every chance they can. Now, it's, it's a point when when it gets ridiculous is when I have a problem with it. Just don't start going outside the box and do ridiculous stuff. And so far with aliens, they never... Uh, go too far with it you know they'll they'll do certain things to improve it and you know to get you excited but they won't go so far to, it becomes stupid and ridiculous and thank goodness it might have something to do with Ridley Scott saying now nah, y'all not gonna take this franchise from me and just do whatever you want to with it like um George Lucas you know what I'm saying I mean he should be he should be one of those um situations where you think this is something you shouldn't do you shouldn't give up all your rights to something that's so that's so big this thing he could have he could have easily passed it down to people he knew they was going to do it but he should have tested the waters first to see what they were going to do with it first for just selling it to him and i think they they tricked him this is my personal opinion i mean he's a grown man he, he he's a businessman to a very good businessman so it doesn't make any sense how they would food this man into that but i think because he was friends with them he believed them you know he's friends with kathleen kennedy bob Iger, and all these people i think he just believed them he might have had some um doubts about the whole situation but i believe he believed them that they was going to you know follow his um take on star wars but they decided just to do whatever they want to with it almost a slap in the face to the man but that's what happens when you uh give up all your rights from the jump when you don't when you don't even know what these people are going to do with your uh with your franchises and really scott was like screw that man you know I, I don't know how much he owns the aliens if he owned it at all whatever situation is but somehow they was able to keep this out of uh these untalented people's hands and which i think is fantastic because i think it's cr great when the people that create these monsters or create these heroes or create whatever they should have control and that's the problem because for, for example the mcu for example even with fox when they owned it when when hollywood buys something from you it, they, they turn it into crap um jk rollins for example she still got control over her franchise and it's going to be quality because she, it, it means something to her but when 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 they brought um the comics rights from like uh marvel or dcu or dc they decide to do whatever they want to with it sometimes it turned out well sometimes it didn't but they, a lot of the times, even the old X-Men, they did not follow the comic books, not the way they should have. And that's why, you know, even though it was good, it could have been a whole lot better. It's like Deadpool, for example, right? He decided to follow the character to the T, to the letter. Okay, but it's not like uh, what they do now. Uh, they take a they take a, a franchise or whatever idea and because they don't have any talents they decide to do whatever they want to with the project so it's crazy stuff man but really uh, scott was able to maintain these characters and people uh, i believe people are gonna love it and i think it's gonna be a hit because people are starving right now for good movies 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only good part about all these crappy movies coming out. Because when the good movies come, people go in grows to see them. I'm definitely going to see this at the movie theater. That's not even a question. And most of the movies and trailers that I've reacted to, most of them are probably just going to wait to streaming or something like that. But not something like this. Definitely going to see it. Because you can't really enjoy this. I mean, later after years pass, you might can watch it on streaming and still enjoy it. But you can't really enjoy it unless you see a movie like this at the movie, movie theater. I'm telling you, man, it just looks too good. Looks too good. And like I say, it's it, in the fact that they brought these young people into the, to the mix. At first, I had a little questions about it. But now that I know the circumstances of why these kids are on this ship, now it makes more sense to me. Instead of because I thought they was official, that they was like, you know, they trained to be on these ships and the government backed them up and all this kind of I thought it was that. And I was like, why would they why would he go that route? But no, they more like vagabonds or whatever. Right. They do an illegal activity to try to get something. And now they caught up in a situation where they're going to freaking die, which is fantastic. OK, so I don't know which one of these women they're going to allow to live because always in these alien movies, they allow the women to live, man, at least one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and then because you're wondering which one of these women uh, is going to survive and she's going to carry on this franchise. If, if that's the idea, maybe they might just go in a different direction when they make another movie with somebody else. But. You know, if they did the same thing like they did with Sakoni Riva when they had her helm all the um, most of the aliens, I think that was fantastic because she's such an actress and she can play. She can play sweet. She can play uh, 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 like a blonde, blind bombshell, uh, and she can play a really strong character. And that that requires acting uh, skills, acting capabilities. Okay, you can be able to do things like that, which is fantastic. So I'm wondering if they're trying to uh, spearhead uh, another girl, another woman, to uh, to be in these. Um, I, I think they're gonna make more of these. I don't think they're just gonna stop here. It's too good an idea, man. You just can't let it go. It's just like Star Wars and um, MCU. Pretty much, people want um, Kathleen Kennedy to stop making Star Wars, but she's not gonna stop because. The characters in there is too rich because the person, the person with the right vision and the right talents can actually turn all this stuff around. But Kathleen Kennedy is not going to allow it, man. She has to completely leave and they replace with somebody with real talent before anything changes. It's not going to change as long as she's there. But thank goodness they didn't do this with Alien. Thank goodness they didn't do this with Harry Potter. Thank goodness they didn't do this with other franchises they couldn't touch or put their hands on and spoil it. It was some I'm sure it's some more, but either way it goes, thank goodness we still got some franchises that are gonna be sticking with talented people, okay? All right. I really appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again. This is T and Peace.